Well, good morning, everyone. It's Gloria, and as promised, I am doing a belated theme Thursday, uh, shoes. And I had intended to do this on either Thursday afternoon or Friday or even perhaps Saturday, but uh, my time was very limited. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> it took quite a bit of work just to get out the shoes and to prepare them for the video. So uh, I know this may seem a little ridiculous, you all, it's particularly since I only have uh, Lily Beth, but she is my uh, hobby, and I love, love, love baby shoes. So, and I love matching shoes to uh, outfits or coordinating them. So whenever I find a pair that's reasonable, usually at a thrift store or a consignment shop, very rarely do I ever buy any at a department store. Uh, I go ahead and buy them. And uh, the excess ones that I have, I give to my uh, daughter and granddaughter for, for them to use for their babies. And uh, of course, they come over here and they dress the babies and they use my baby shoes while they're here. But I, I thought I would go on and show you my collection. It's almost embarrassing, but uh, I'm sure there are several of you out there whose collections rival mine, uh, perhaps uh, even more. So uh, let me let me show you very quickly here. Um, these you really can't tell, but those are little T-strap. They are T-strap um, cro um, crocheted little uh, shoes. And I did go ahead and put some of the booties out because I do use these as shoes. Now I do have more booties that I did not put out. And of course I have literally two shoe boxes full of socks and shoe socks uh, to go with these. <laughs> I didn't get those out. But anyway, I'm just going to go over them very quickly. Um, these are some of my favorites here. It's hard to tell how pretty these are unless you actually see them on and uh, you know see the side of them but they have some beautiful beautiful detail there and I love those with the little heirloom style dresses as I do those and those and uh, I'm trying to think let's see um, my uh, mind leaves me as usual these are Sarah Louise and these come from Great Britain and I happened to find those uh, while on vacation somewhere. And then the little two pair of socks at the top, those are the Patty brand. <clears throat> they are to be used as little shoe socks or booties. And I have a number of the Patty uh, gowns and onesies and, and so forth. Uh, and I use those uh, with, with those. And of course, those are some hand crocheted uh, little booties there. The two on the end, they have yellow. They are a, really a very pretty golden color. Those were my girls' little baby shoes. Uh, the ones over here, let's see, I can't reach. Can't see my, those right there were my older daughter. She is now 45. The, these, the more plain ones, were my younger daughter. She is 38. And I do put them on Lily Beth with some of the vintage outfits. I tried to align these in the type of shoe uh, that I have to make it a little easier, but uh, that kind of got out of hand. <laughs> but anyway, these are the little crocheted shoes that I have and uh, booties and so forth. Uh, I have a matching hat and a bib that goes with those that are just, just gorgeous. A woman in Louisiana uh, does those. And um, I've actually found her through uh, Christina's uh, Reborns out of Australia. She had ordered some, and uh, I asked her where she got them, and she put me on to the ladies' um, website, and I ordered a set and got those, and I just love that on Lily Beth. And some more little soft shoes and booties down this way. And then we come into the little harder crib shoe type uh, shoe in various colors. There's a little pair that I kind of got out of line right there. They should be over there with the cloth shoes. Well, I guess, well, you know, here comes the cloth shoes. These match my vintage Carter's lines here. And uh, those don't actually go with the Carter's vintage lines, but they blend beautifully, so I, I use those. These always look, they're, the bows are pink, but they look, on orangey yellow color on camera. I don't understand why. Um, 
some more of the little soft shoes here. These are my favorite sandals ever. I just think they're so sweet and they go with so, so many things. Those are baby deers, as are the little gold shoes. That, that goes from some fall outfits that I have for her. Those on the end are from my friend Shelly of Graphic Unicorn, as are those. And these and those and maybe a couple of more pair in here. That's been a while, so I've actually forgotten. But I have the little tennis shoe style uh, soft shoes here. Then here are my little Mary Jane kids. And uh, I just got these at uh, Once Upon a Child, the new shop that just opened here about a month ago. And I bought these this weekend. These are little red sand, uh, leather sun sands. So I'm, you know, excited to get those on her. Some little red leather Mary Janes. Oh, yeah, these were from Shelly, too. Uh, they're little vinyl shoes, but they're very cute. Those are Carter's. I have several of the vintage little ducky shoes that, uh, excuse me, little ducky uh, clothes in those in that line that these shoes go with. And, of course, she's got her little Ralph Lauren's here because I have several outfits for Lily Beth uh, in Ralph Lauren and some little silver shoes. And I have another little pair of silver shoes right there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm all, goodness me, I can't believe I have this many shoes. Oh, I had no idea. I, have, I keep them in uh, plastic shoe boxes, you know, with the lids on them. And I just kind of dump them in there. I don't really... Um, do anything special with them, but it makes for easy storage. And, um, you know, you just, you don't really realize how many you have until you get them out and line them up side by side. But I hope you all enjoyed seeing uh, Lily Best shoe collection. And I still have one to do of my favorite uh, dresses for her. I hope to get to that one before the end of the week. Uh, we'll just have to see. Our church uh, is in revival this week. We're having two services, one midday and at night. And so that's going to keep me pretty busy through Wednesday. So we'll just see how that goes. But I hope you all have a, a wonderful uh, week and uh, enjoy uh, watching or, ugh, you know, if you have the right glasses and, or whatever, the, the solar eclipse um, that's coming this afternoon. And, uh, um, you know, I could say more about that, but I'll hold that for now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just uh, hope everyone has a wonderful, blessed week. And we'll talk to you again soon. So I send love and hugs from Gloria and Lilybeth. Bye-bye, everybody.